guys, it's Kylie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really easy and fun shawl pattern for y'all that uses Lion Brand Mandela yarn. I wished I had showed y'all the full scheme before I used most of it, but it is the Mandela Opera yarn in the color Felicity. It's this pretty pink uh, colored yarn that's got different tones of pink and different things. And if you look at the finished picture of the shawl, it works up beautifully. This is one of my favorite yarns to make shawls with. Um, it's really basically one of my favorite line brand yarns that they have ever made is the Mandela Ombre yarn. I don't know why. I just love making blankets, shawls, all kinds of stuff with it. And I'm actually surprised I don't have more patterns with it, but I want to try to change that this year. So for this shawl pattern, you will simply just need a J or six millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and something to make fringe with if you want to add fringe. I use my Susan Bates Knit Check to wrap the yarn around and make fringe, which I'll be showing y'all exactly how to do that later. Um, or a piece of cardboard works. Just however long you want your fringe is how uh, long or wide you want your uh, piece of cardboard or whatever you're using to wrap. You could even use books. I've seen people use lots of different things. So something to make your fringe. And then you'll need also three skeins of this yarn. Depending on how big of a shawl you want, I use three skeins to make my shawl and my fringe. And it comes out pretty good size. I'd have to look. You can look at the, I'll link the post below and it'll have all the um, exact measurements. But, um, so you need at least, but I'd say about three skeins of the Mandela Ombre, depending on how big you want it. But I also do want to mention that you could basically use any yarn you wanted for this pattern. Any yarn brand, any weight would work. It's very basic pattern that's super easy. So it can, you could, if you don't have the Mandela yarn, you could substitute basically anything for it. But before we go any farther in this video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to never miss any free crochet patterns and tutorials. And we're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy shawl. Okay, so I have made a slip. A knot here and put it on my hook and for round or for row one we're going to simply chain two and in the very first chain the second chain from our hook that very first chain we made we're going to work a single crochet a chain one another single crochet we're going to chain two and we're working all these stitches in this first chain space or first single crochet. So after our chain two, we're gonna single crochet again, chain one, and make one more single crochet. And that's what it'll look like after. Let me zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. And this is what it'll look like after row one. You see, it looks like a teeny tiny little bitty triangle. So you should have four single crochets two chain ones and a chain two in that first row going on to row two we're going to chain one and we're going to turn we're going to single crochet in this very first stitch so very first single crochet we're going to chain one in that first chain one space you're going to work a single crochet in that chain one space chain one and then when you get to that chain two space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that chain two space. Then you're gonna chain one. You're gonna find that next uh, chain one space and work a single crochet, chain one, and then you're gonna single crochet in that very last stitch, that very last single crochet. There's what it looks like after round two. And if I didn't mention, for those of y'all that are familiar with the moss stitch, that is basically all this is just in a triangle form. So it is made of the moss stitch, which is also known as the linen stitch. Um, so going on to row three. And then after row three, it's just a one row repeat. So it's a very easy pattern. So going on, we are going to chain one, turn. We're going to seal crochet in our that very first stitch. And we're going to chain one. And we're going to work a single crochet and chain one in each chain one space across till we reach our uh, chain two space. So there's a chain one space. I'm going to single crochet, chain one. There's the next one. Single crochet, chain one. There's my chain two space. So I'm going to work a 
single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that chain two space. Then we'll chain one. We're going to do the same thing up this side. We're going to work a single crochet in the chain one space plus a chain one. Single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, and then single crochet in that very last stitch. And that's round three, and you're basically going to repeat round three until your shawl is as big as you want it. I done 84 rows, so I'll do it again and show y'all. So the rest of it is just going to be the repeat of round three. So going on, so this will be round four, you're just going to chain one, turn, single crochet in your first stitch, chain one, and then work a single crochet, chain one in each chain one space across. until you reach that chain two space. When you get to that chain two space, you are gonna work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Chain one, and then work a single crochet and chain one across in each chain one space. And then when you are reach that very last stitch, you will single crochet that last stitch. And you'll just keep repeating that for as many rows as you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead um, and jump over and show you all how I attach my fringe for my shawl. So once you finish row 84 or whichever row you decide to stop on, you can make it as big or as small as you want. We're now going to add fringe to our shawl. And I've already added fringe most of the way around here. But I'm going to show you how I make my fringe and how I add it to my shawl. So to make my fringe, you can use a piece of cardboard. Um, however tall you want your long you want your fringe to be. My fringe here is about almost six inches, so I cut 12 inch lengths of yarn. And what I do is I have a Susan Bates knit check, and I wrap my yarn lengthwise around here. So I'll just take my yarn and I wrap it like so. And however tall this is, is how long your piece of fringe is going to be. So if you want a shorter fringe, you can wrap it this way. Or you could find a piece of cardboard and cut it to however you, uh, wide you, long you want it. Um, you can take like a book or anything and wrap your yarn around to make your fringe. So I'm just going to do a few here. Just a few pieces to show y'all because I've got a lot that I cut out already. So after you go around and you can wrap this around like, I mean if you want to do it like wrap it around 50 times, you can. But I'm just doing this to show y'all. So then you're going to go here to the end, you know, the very end like so, and cut it. And then you have multiple pieces of fringe without having to cut each piece individually. So now to add the fringe, what I do is I get a smaller size crochet hook. This is like a three, I would probably say a three or a four, whatever works best for you. I get it and I add a piece of fringe for every stitch across. So every... Um, this was moss stitch, so every chain stitch and regular single crochet across, I add a piece of fringe. So I just insert my hook in that stitch and I grab a piece of yarn. And I try to get as even as possible. And I put it on the end of that crochet hook and pull it up. And then grab it and pull it through that loop. And you can do that all the way around. You could also put, like, if you want to make tassels and put tassels on each corner of your uh, triangle shawl, you could. Um, I think that would be pretty, but I just really like the look of fringe. It is a little bit more time-consuming, but I think it just really adds to the shawl. So like that. And you just repeat that and go all the way around your shawl. Like so. Once you've added the fringe all the way around your shawl, you can then weave your ends in and your shawl will be complete. So I've hoped y'all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet to my channel for more free tutorials and patterns. And happy crocheting, guys.